Hello and welcome to my desk tour. If you can't remember who I am, I actually look like this. That's me. I'm an Englishman music teacher who moved from England land to Copenhagen a couple of years ago. And I spend my time either teaching online, in person, or in my apartment in Copenhagen. I teach guitar, ukulele, bass guitar, piano, and um, various software and songwriting. Now today we're just going to be actually looking at the hardware side of things and I will put out a, a video in the future regarding software and what I use to teach. I'm weirdly proud of my setup. I don't enjoy owning many things and so everything that is actually attached to this desk and everything I use has a purpose that I could not live without. So I don't like to try and duplicate on items. If one thing can do many jobs, that is exactly what I'll be looking for. Because I have to travel so much for teaching, most of my gear is set up to be portable, so it can be taken away from the desk and put straight back with as little hassle as possible. And so let's begin with the brain of the whole desk, which is my 2016 MacBook Pro with Touch Bar. Now, the Touch Bar is fine, but actually it's the four USB-C ports that are way more important. Currently attached to those are my charger. I have a cable connecting to the monitor itself, a lacy, rugged two terabyte hard drive, and finally, um, a USB adapter. Now the monitor I'm connected to is a 24 inch AOC 1080p panel. Um, it's nothing special, but it's very special for me because it actually has four USB-A ports in the back of it, which means I can plug in lots and lots and lots of peripherals, and that saves me an extra adapter. Next up is my external sound card. Um, I use a Scarlett 2i4. It's actually Velcro taped uh, underneath my desk. This is literally just so it's easier to plug my guitars in and it saves me a bit of desk space. Now my monitors of choice are the IK Multimedia iLoud Micro Monitors. Oh, that's a long name. Right, so they actually come as a pair. They're super tiny, they're three inch woofers, and they're absolutely fantastic. They come with isopods in the bottom, they have EQ adjustments on the back, they have also Bluetooth, and they RCA input into the back of the sound card. They're a completely flat response. They are absolutely everything you'd want from a monitor. Winning the award for greatest fingerprint magnet is the Arturia Mini Lab. Now this guy is pretty tiny, he comes with drum pads, controllers, 25 keys, um, and it also has a sustain pedal input in the back. Now because I have to do a lot of work with um, GarageBand and Logic when teaching, this kid usually just slides into my backpack, um, so he's excellent. And he sits on my desk just in reach. My microphone of choice is the Blue Snowball condenser mic. He's USB, I use him for Skype, I'm using him right now, hello. And again, he's portable, it's very easy to plug in. Um, I didn't want something that I had to plug into my sound card, so if I'm traveling, I can just take the microphone and the laptop. And talking about those online lessons, uh, my camera of choice is the Logitech C920. Now he's just, again, a USB webcam, which plugs again into my monitor, but he's super tiny. He clamps on either to my monitor or laptop, super portable again. So I find I can teach from wherever I like. So again, when teaching online, I like it to try and be nice and quiet. So um, I actually use these lovely headphones, the Sony WHH900NH.ear on to wireless noise cancelling headphones, a name you'll never forget. Um, they can be used either Bluetooth or wired. I use them wired when teaching, but for example, when relaxing with my iPad, noise cancelling on, Bluetooth on, they're great. Because I have wrist problems, um, I always use a, a nice comfortable mouse at the desk rather than just a trackpad. So this is the Logitech MX Master 2 mouse. He is perfect, but really, honestly, all I do with it is this. So that was a quick view on everything on my desk. Now it's also important that I have this little piano set up with a screen here and I'll explain why now. 
So the latest macOS update, um, they enable something called Sidecar, which lets you turn your iPad into a wireless monitor for your Mac. Again, perfect for me because now I can have my iPad sat on the piano and when I'm teaching Skype, I can send Skype over from my desktop to the iPad over here, which means the students are in full view and I don't have to somehow try and move my piano so it's right next to my desk. Now saying piano, it's actually a MIDI controller. It's the Studio Logic SL88. Um, again, MIDI controller means that all the sounds come from my laptop so I can turn it into whatever I want, but it's fully weighted, has a fantastic action, and I think it only weighs about 13 kilos, so it's ridiculously light and has these three wonderful joysticks controlling pitch and modulation. So he's absolutely my favorite. And if you notice the extra thing sat on the piano, uh, that is actually my phone that I use as a clock when I'm teaching, and the Logitech's K380 uh, keyboard. Now I feel like I need to put some special mentions in. So uh, this is my chair, the IKEA Jor Vialet. Um, sorry to all my Swedish students. Uh, this guy is very nice. Wasn't a lot of money either, roughly about £110, but it has a 10 year warranty. Um, has an adjustable headrest, backrest, is crazy comfortable and lets you recline to um, god knows how many settings. Um, I haven't died from any back pain or death yet so I most definitely recommend this chair and he looks like it's from the future which IKEA definitely is. Now because Denmark is notoriously a very grey and dark place I rely on this ring light a lot, especially for online lessons where I need some good quality light and for recording YouTube videos. And so the final special mention is something that's cropped up throughout this video but actually isn't music related. There it is! It's, uh, it's, it's my Nintendo Switch Lite. I'm a massive fan of video games and have been for as long as I can remember since I was a wee boy. So the reason that this is my choice of console is one, um, all my games are digital. So I have all my games stored on a 400 gig SD card. Um, again, I, I don't want lots of lots of space taken up by physical carts and and cases, etc. So everything's just on there on the system. And two, it's crazy portable. So it means that I can play wherever I like. And it just feels odd to me nowadays just to sit, to be stuck in front of a TV to play games. I can take this wherever I want and play wherever I want. Now that pretty much covers all the hardware that I use um, day to day. A lot of my soft, as my setup is actually software based. So I'm gonna do another video on how I teach, record, and what software I actually use to get all that done without using loads and loads of amplifiers and having loads of different extra things. I'll also be putting together a video of how I teach and how everything goes, how, how I run through it, etc. And this is teaching online, this is teaching in person, and this is also traveling to students as well. Thank you. If you have any questions on what it's like to be a music teacher uh, full time or anything to do with anything I've talked about today, please leave a comment um, down below and I will try and answer it. Have a lovely, less grey day. See you soon.